gentlemen, boys and girls, parents and gentlemen, madams and messieurs, friends and neighbors. I am the learned doctor, generally Simo, Sir Albertus, Robert, Benedictus, Antonio, Patrick, David, Philip, Dorothy, don't ask, <laughs> Matthias Throckmorton, and I bid you welcome one and all. Today you are blessed, one and all, to be in attendance at the finest production ever staged of the classic fable, The Strange and Bold Adventure, with the subsequent victory and joyous celebration of the Three Billy Goats Gruff amongst the foul creatures of the gorge. Or, to keep it simple, the Three Billy Goats Gruff. You now have my permission to applaud loudly and shout your approval. But not long do I present this wonder of the ages. With me, I bring a host of performers, a menagerie of beasts, and a bag of tricks guaranteed to delight the young and old. Would you like to meet them? Yes! Yeah. Sure. Very well then, clap your hands, stamp your feet, and fling your wigs in the air as I present our players. <laughs> Big Bill! Hey kids! Woo! Billy the Kid! Yeah. Wee William! <laughs> the Little Wooden Boy! The gingerbread man. My name is Marty. <laughs> Get back in place. Moving on, the rat catcher. I used to be a real artist. <laughs> little Red. I might be little, but no old messes with me. The golden girl. I'm not too little, not too big, I'm just right. The shepherdess of her flock. I should have listened to my mother and Mary Georgie Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Mary of the garden. A girl so nice, they named her twice. If I told you how my garden goes, you never eat strawberries again. <laughs> the feline phenomenon and his family. Ruffians, beware! Lost our beans and now we shall have no pie. Excuse me. <laughs> the terrific twin. Hi, we're Jack and Jill, and you'll be seeing lots of us later. Unfolds. Now, are you ready? Let me hear that you are ready. Let me believe that you are ready. When you are ready, the story can begin. It all started at the birthday party of a certain golden haired girl in a lovely meadow bordered by a gorge in the heart of fairy tale land.
pussy cat or feel the keen edge of my face. Look, Seven, look, Seven! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Do you surrender? Let me put it this way. No. Then chase the fury of my sword. Before we commence this duel, I feel obligated to say it's a very lovely looking family here. Uh, thank you? Yes, yes. What a terrible thing if something were to happen to them. You wouldn't. Thank you. 
As you remember, the terrible trolls, Boz and Grotto, had attacked Goldilocks' party and were preparing to make a meal out of one of her guests. And a thrilling chase sequence was about to begin. I am furious! It's Boz! Hi, everybody! Run! Pardon? Some of us aren't people or goats. 
And be nice. And take guts. The point <laughs> is, you don't get to vote, and he doesn't get to talk. How come? Because we're in the middle of a show, and we can't stop in the middle of a show. But we already have stopped. What? The show is stopped. You've been arguing for five minutes. Yeah, if you'd let them have a tip, you'd be rolling along now. Don't you think we should really get moving? After all, my big seat is coming up. And I'm sure all the kids are on the edge of their seat waiting for it. Come on, you old skin flint. Let them talk. Watch your blood pressure there. You didn't take your pill this morning. Fine, you have two minutes, too. Don't I get an introduction? No. Could I get them their lights up? Lights, please, lights. Bye. Thank you, Bertram. I think they understand. Hit it! Howdy there, partners. Now yell howdy back. Howdy! I want to explain to you what happened back there. I'm sure many of you are asking yourselves, why did he back down? He's a fine figure of a goat. He could have taken that troll without breaking a sweat. I'm not saying you're wrong. I am a fine specimen. In fact, sometimes I get jealous of y'all being able to see my fabulous physique. Look at me. Buff, count, and right around now because I'm body fat. Yep, I'm pretty much how Michelangelo would have carved that statue of David if he had a better imagination and if David had been a goat. I pity the troll who comes up against this. I said two minutes. Right. So I want to make sure that you understand that you are watching a play, and that, in a play, the actors are supposed to do what the script tells them to do. Which you are not currently doing. You have 30 seconds. So that's why a hunk of hunk of burning love like me back down from that there showdown. The script said I had to. Are you finished? Just about. I know that a lot of you young cowboys and cow gals probably have half feet and a million miles a minute from the thrill of being able to talk to me like this. But don't worry, I'll see all y'all out in the lobby after the show to sign autographs and let you get a photo or two. Two minutes are up. Let's get the show on the road. Hey, there's one of my sheep. Clear the way, Blake! Kill me, girl! Back, Bobby! Kill the house lights! As you remember, the goats were thwarted in their attempt to cross the bridge, and the story continues to unfold. What do you want? Is that anything to eat? Some hay. Too dry. Some oats. Too chewy. A candy bowl? I have a friend here that you should talk to. But he's a cookie. Watch it, Buster! I'm a gingerbread man. No offense. <laughs> and the name is Marty. Marty here is an escape artist. No kidding. I escaped from an old woman, an old man, a hired hand, a dog, a cat, in short, I haven't built a number yet that can hold me. That's impressive. It was classic. I wish you could have seen it. I faked it to the left, then I faked it to the right. And while they were looking the other way, I took advantage of the loophole. And then it was just run as fast as I can. You could have kept me. I'm the gingerbread man. I thought you were going to call Marty. Don't push me, big man. I'm a professional. So, what's the plan? First, go to the bridge. Okay. Toss a rock to create a divergence. All right. Then run, run, run as fast as you can. And then? That's it, that's the plan. Yay! That's the plan. What? We just run? Look, when something works for me, I stick with it. I gave a candy bar for that? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay, then. Might as well try it. I've heard of dumber things.
really effective. Oh, <laughs> this is all with you guys' techniques. Now, just your plan. There's one more thing you might try, and that is go talk to the old men, see if they can help. I don't think so. But he's a legend! He's also a grump. Suit yourself. We're off to have some on my birthday cake. No, I'm not. It's snowing you now. Maybe I'll just have some milk. <laughs>
you to the yard.
I guess it's time. Time for what? Time to go to the old man. Where is he? Look, here he comes. <laughs> Living 
Expedition Bold Adventure with the subsequent victory and joyous celebration of the Three Billy Goats Gruff amongst the foul creatures of the gorge. Or, to keep it simple, <coughs> take it away. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Thank you for coming. And remember, it's people like you that make people like us. My people like you. <laughs>